The Russia-Ukraine conflict continues to rage. The Israel-Hamas conflict has followed suit. It's only a matter of time before new conflicts break out or existing conflicts introduce new members. It's the template of the world wars all over again. One nation that knows a thing or two about world wars is Germany. The European nation is getting ready once again. German machines have been heavily responsible for Russia's losses in Ukraine. To quench a potential Russian retaliation, Germany is embarking on the largest shipbuilding project in the history of the German Navy. The result is the construction of the largest German ship since World War II. More on the massive floating weapons of war in the news at 10, 11, or whatever time it is. On June 17, 2020, a massive contract was signed. Roughly $6.8 billion would be spent on four new ships for the German Navy, with an option for additional two, depending on what the government and Navy agree on. The contract was awarded to Dahmen Naval, a Dutch shipbuilding company, after an intense five-year battle with other bidders for the contract. Working alongside major partner Lursen, a Dutch firm, Dahmen Naval would provide the ships, training facilities, anti-submarine warfare modules, and detention modules. The ship's weapons would be contracted separately. After an outrage on the German government outsourcing a critical national security task, the contract demanded that the warships be entirely built in Germany. Work has already begun on the construction of the ships, now known as the Frigate 126 Project or F-126 Project. Delivery of the first ship, so far unnamed, is scheduled for 2028. Once completed and in service, the new ships of the German Navy will replace the current F-123 Brandenburg class of frigates, four of which entered service in the mid-1990s. The new frigates would not only bring in a stronger military might to repel a Russian attack, but also a general sense of security in Germany. And it's all thanks to a wide array of impressive capabilities. Capabilities the F-126 ships are frigate ships. Frigates, as they were originally conceived, are relatively small ships compared to destroyers and cruisers. They are generally built for their speed, maneuverability, and likelihood to come in large numbers. However, newer frigates like the ones Germany is building are far from relatively small. In fact, each F-126 ship will be 545 feet long and have a displacement of 11,000 tons. That's significantly longer and heavier than the 505-foot-long and 8,600-ton-heavy Flight 2 Arleigh Burke-class destroyers of the U.S. Navy. Encased in this larger-than-life hull of the German Navy's F-126 frigates is a world of features and advancements that make the F-126 class of frigates incredibly capable. These features and advancements include battle-dominating design. Each F-126 frigate was designed from the ground up to be a versatile machine on the seas capable of the widest array of missions in the most efficient way possible. A small crew complement of 114 is able to operate the entire ship. To put in context how small that is, a lighter Flight 2 Arleigh Burke-class destroyer has nearly triple that complement size, requiring over 300 people to run the ship. Still, despite the relatively small complement size of the F-126 warships, the ships are designed to remain at sea for up to two years straight and operate for 5,000 hours per year. On its voyages, the ship has an aircraft hangar that can house multiple UAVs and helicopters. The models of the drones and helicopters are currently unspecified, but a likely drone candidate is the Saab Skelder rotary wing drone, which is already being operated by the German Navy and a helicopter candidate is the Airbus helicopter Sea Tiger, a German shipborne multi-mission version of the NH-90 that made its maiden flight in November. Combining an efficient complement, impressive endurance, and facilities to hold third-party vehicles that can resupply the ship while at sea, the F-126 warships are the ultimate machines for extended operations far from home ports, the ultimate machines for maintaining a persistent presence in strategic areas, and responding promptly to emerging threats or crisis situations. Propulsion 
The F-126 frigates are equipped with advanced propulsion systems that ensure high maneuverability and efficiency, enabling them to operate effectively in various sea conditions. The propulsion system is a combined diesel-electric and diesel system, or CODLAD system, which is one that uses both an electric motor and a diesel engine to power a single propeller. Therefore, each F-126 ship has two electric drive motors and four gensets. Irrespective of what happens to either the drive motors or the gensets, the ship can still provide power to its propeller, rather than be sitting ducks in the middle of the ocean. In addition to this useful redundancy, the Codland system of the F-126 provides a hefty 43,000 horsepower. With such power brewing in its hull, the ship can reach speeds as high as 26 knots, or 11.5 knots when only powered by its electric propulsors. At an average speed of 18 knots, the ship can sail across 4,600 miles of water to pay visits to allies or rivals wherever they may be in the world. Armament From guns to advanced missile systems to close-in weapon systems to electronic warfare systems and then decoy launchers, the F-126 frigates are equipped with the tools required to handle a variety of threats. When it comes to guns, each F-126 wields an Autobreda 127-64 naval gun with Volcano-guided ammunition, two 27mm Rheinmetall MLG-27 autocannons, and multiple 12.7mm Leonardo heavy machine guns. For explosive power, each ship is fitted with a 16-cell MK-41 vertical launch system, which can hold up to 64 medium-range Evolve Sea Sparrow missiles or launchers for eight Kongsberg Naval Strike missiles and a pair of RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile Close-In Weapon System launchers. In addition to all of these, the F-126 ships are designed to accommodate modular mission payloads. This flexibility allows for easy integration of various mission-specific systems and equipment, enabling the ships to adapt swiftly to evolving operational requirements. The modularity enhances their role in a wide spectrum of missions, from anti-submarine warfare to anti-surface warfare, maritime security, and humanitarian assistance. Although even in their basic form, the warships will be able to perform anti-air warfare and anti-surface warfare, with the various required sensors and weapons brought together via a Thales Tacticos combat management system. In addition to their armament, propulsion, and design, there's so much more that makes these incredible German warships incredible. It would take forever to discuss them all. Germany is really giving it a go this time at dominating the seas. Maybe that's what it takes when the rival on the other side of the ring is one of the most powerful nations in the world and wields more nuclear warheads than any other nation, including the United States. In fact, the United States, like Germany, is also throwing huge numbers to build a new frigate fleet that could keep Russia at bay. This begs the question, which would be more decisive in achieving that? Germany's F-126 warships or the United States' Constellation-class frigates. Constellation-class frigates The United States has built 111 frigates over the last few decades. The latest of these frigates was commissioned in 1989. Today, none of the frigates are in service. But now, after a three-decade break, the U.S. is once again set to build and commission a fleet of frigates that would sail the seas to support other ships of the U.S. Navy and their allies. Each with a displacement of 7,291 tons, these new American frigates, known as Constellation-class frigates, are significantly lighter than Germany's 11,000-ton F-126 frigates. The contract for the Constellation class was awarded to shipbuilder Fincantieri Marinette Marine in 2020. With the first cut of steel already made, the company has begun construction of the ships. The lead ship in the class, USS Constellation, is scheduled to be delivered in 2026 and is expected to achieve initial operational capability by 2030, with her sisters following suit not long after. Like their German counterparts, the new American frigates will have the capability to carry out multiple missions, including anti-air warfare, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, and electronic warfare. 
This versatility is in no small part thanks to the 32 MK41 vertical launch system cells each ship will wield, similar to those on the German ships but double the cells. Each Constellation class ship will also be armed with a 21-cell MK-49 guided missile launching system capable of launching the same RIM-116 rolling airframe missile of the F-126 ships. The Constellation class ships will further be armed with 16 canister-launched over-the-horizon anti-ship weapons, an MK-110 57mm gun, other machine guns such as the M240 or the M2, and more. The American ships can host the Sikorsky MH-60R Seahawk helicopters and MQ-8C Fire Scout rotary wing drones. The ship's power comes from a Codlad propulsion system that enables each ship to generate up to 12 megawatts of power. As a result, Constellation-class ships can reach a top speed in excess of 26 knots and an operational range as wide as 6,900 miles. Constellation-class ships partnered with Germany's F-126s would be a tag team to remember, both armed with similar characteristics and each capable of giving Russia something to worry about. War is in the air. Powers of the world must be prepared for when it finally comes knocking. Germany is definitely preparing for it. New frigates the size of destroyers are already taking shape and will soon take up arms to defend the nation's shores. According to the German Navy, that is enough reason to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now, and thanks for watching.